Now be careful, two clicks an hour through here. It's very bad stuff. James Gordon Watson is asking for it. He's asking for the return of something that belonged to him, and some might say he's asking for trouble. The Lake Country man claims he was the victim of a theft, but what makes this case highly unusual is that he too is technically breaking the law. Watson wants the return of his prized pot plant, one of five that he grows next to his mother's property right beside the Lake Country Fire Department. 20 inches tall, uh, uh, smoky female. She was just beautiful. Like, when you come down here, I could smell her right there. She was right there. And then somebody come along and... In fact, James was so upset that someone took his prized pot plant that he took the extraordinary step and actually called the police. They were pissed off. They're going to come up and arrest me for production or something. And he called it dope. And I says, well, dope is coke, eh? I don't grow dope. I, I grow weed, man. Eh? And they never came. Oh, they never came. In fact, the police did show up and had a chat with Watson. I think that's probably the first time I've ever seen anyone report um, that their marijuana had been stolen. That's the voice of Sergeant Rick McIsaac, who says police did pay Watson a visit and seized his four remaining pot plants, but didn't charge him. Obviously, we would never say that, you know, if you grow four plants or less, that's okay. We won't, we won't charge you. We might. Um... Every case is looked at from its own merit. So in the end, Watson blew the whistle on himself, but it's he gets a get-out-of-jail card. Oh, I was uh, kind of emotionally uh, upset for a while, but I'm getting over it. In Lake Country, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.